Konnichiwa mina, boku wa Jeremy desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Today is day 209. It is... What day is it? It is Monday, the 28th of July, 2014. And, uh... Start of a new week, I guess. Monday, yay! 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 <laughs> um, alright. The, uh... Sailor Mercury and Sailor Mars clips that I've talked about are viewable now. Um, you can, or I guess Viz officially released them. Uh, you can look at them up on Anime News Network. There is a thing that I've heard of that's happening that is something I have trouble with myself. Now, I would call myself an avid fan of Sailor Moon, uh, just like many others of you out there who watch my videos and who may not or, or whatnot. Maybe you've come across it, maybe you like Sailor Moon, maybe you don't, I don't know. Um, and it's not just Sailor Moon fandom that this happens in. Or it, it can happen in any kind of fandom, and it's what I would call, consider the more dangerous side of things. People that would make threats to the point of death threats, or just threats in general, towards companies, or voice actors, or anybody that is associated with a project that they feel is not being handled properly or that is not being made available. Now, you see me rant from time to time occasionally on my channel about things and how I was pissed off the other day about Hulu and whatnot. Um, Crunchyroll is available in Canada, so you can watch Sailor Moon then. And I mean, obviously, within the day of the internet age, we will see clips. They're going to come out early, leaked stuff. It's just how things are. You'll find it eventually. You don't always have to be the first person to see it. Um, I used to be uh, in, you know, at fault of wanting to be the first person to see certain things all the time. And to some degree, I still think it's really interesting when it happens. But it is not the end of the world. And maybe it comes with age, I don't know. It's not the end of the world if you're not the first person to watch something or to, to comment on something or, or whatnot. I don't know why in this day and age it seems to be like, who's the end all of end all if people don't get to see things right away. So, um... Using Sailor Moon, for example, why not? Uh, I know that Viz is trying to get YTV to uh, jump on board, I would believe. Um, but it's not up to Viz for about that. Um, it's, it's, it's just how the stations and stuff are. Let's look at how YTV and Teletoon have been lately. They're not really that interested in picking up a lot of anime shows. Both of them are now owned by Chorus Entertainment, and they're kind of switching back and forth by what they show. Uh, 16 and a couple of other shows have been shown on YTV, when traditionally they were always on Teletoon. So it just, yeah, it's, it's more of, the, you can't blame one specific entity. It, it is what it is. That's how the entertainment industry is. And now, I've never really been a fan of Linda Ballantyne's version of Usagi in the English dub for Cloverway, the S and Super S versions. And I've been pretty vocal about that off and on, but I would never, ever, ever in a million years want to make any kind of a threat towards her life or or her in general. I mean, I'm, I've I've never met her myself. I'm told she's a wonderful, wonderful lady. Um, Terry Hawks herself spoke very, very highly of her at Anime Revolution in 2012 and said she couldn't imagine the um, pressure that just comes in as being a recast. In, in some ways she could because she took over for Tracy Moore, but Terry Hawks was, I mean, pretty much even even with Stephanie Shea in the, in the role role now, um, I think Terry Hawks is still mostly on number people's number one list as the most popular English dub voice of Sailor Moon anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a fair statement to say. But I mean, everybody tries their best. Um, it's what they do. They're passionate about voices and stuff. Look at Vic Minonia, for example. He's quite passionate about all of his roles. He really took Edward Elric uh, quite seriously because he was a fan of, of Full Metal Alchemist. And nowadays, compared to dubs of the past, we're getting voice actors that are fans of the series that want to do their best to do it and bring out as best of a show as they possibly can for us. Now, I do like to 
to comment on things, and I've done it a couple of times, and you guys seem to like them, and that's, that's wonderful. I appreciate that. Um, and I, it just helps to get it off my chest by sharing it on my channel. But again, I would never, ever want to see any kind of hurt coming onto any of these people that maybe I'm not the biggest fans of the voice of a character that they do. These are people that could possibly have other things going on in their lives. Like, you know, you see those things on Facebook all the time. Oh, that person that you made fun of for calling her a tramp or whatever, well, she's actually really smart and she's got this going on in her family or, or that guy over there who you're saying is a fag and blah, 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 blah. You know, he's got this, 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 and this. So, what I ask, I think, what I'm trying to ask is that people have open minds and don't, don't jump to conclusions and don't let your anger take over your, what you're thinking. Let yourself breathe, think about the situation, and remember the fact that it's a television show and that, yes, it is something that you may be very, very passionate about, and passion is a great thing to have, but don't, don't let your hatred or, or, or let the hate cloud your mind. I know it sounds really cliche and stuff like that, but I do, and it's not just Sailor Moon fandom or, or anime. I mean, there are tons of people out there that I know that are obsessed with Supernatural or uh, Desperate Housewives, or Glee, or anything like that, soap operas. And these people, they, you know, they take it to the next level, like beyond, and, and it becomes like a religion almost. And again, I use the word religion very loosely here, because I know that'll piss a lot of people off. But it becomes something that is just so, so important to them that Anything that any kind, any person says against the show that angers them, or th if they feel that their show or their fandom is being threatened in some way, then they their reaction is to immediately just react rather than thinking, right? So, and then they put all post all these things, and on and this day and age on the internet, I mean, yes, it's easier to have a lot of anonymity, but there are people out there that could still track you down and find out who you are and make your life a living hell, essentially. Like, it's happened before. People, like that group Anonymous, for example, um, they have ways of, of doing it. Now, I, personally, I am terrible with technology and stuff like that. I, I can't fathom how people find out all this information about people by even just, but, you know, just maybe your IP address or whatever. I, I don't even know what IP address really stands for. I know, whatever. But you just have to be careful what you say. It's like when you post things on your Facebook and you have a job. If your boss happens to see it and it's not the best remark, you might get fired over it, right? So just be careful. Enjoy your fandoms. No matter what it is, just don't let your anger get the better of you. That's pretty much the message I'm trying to say here. Because at the end of the day, we're all trying to do our best these companies are bringing us this stuff without them who knows we might not even have them these days and that would just really suck <laughs> so i will see you guys tomorrow which of course will be tuesday and have a wonderful rest of your day bye bye